respiration. In any city, in any country, go to any college or university you can get to. Head to the science lab on campus, to any class that has just begun, pertaining to anatomy or the biological structure of human beings. When you enter, if the professor asks why you are late or acknowledges your arrival, leave, for this is not the right classroom. When you do find a classroom, maybe with a late professor, sit in the back row and wait until the lesson is over. Catch the professor's attention before he or she leaves, and make sure you are the last student in the classroom. If you are not, and you ask for the holder of respiration, those remaining will tear your flesh from your body and gnaw on the remains. When you ask to see this particular holder, do not lose confidence in yourself. The professor knows of your demise, and he or she may be the cause of it. Once asked, however, the professor will ask you to meet him or her in his or her office at the last fifteen minutes he or she remains at school. You agree and leave. Do not search for any other objects during this wait. This particular search has already begun and is a one-shot ordeal. Do not speak to any student on campus, even if you recognize them. Until this task is over, the students will be possessed by demons of unimaginable horrors, and to speak to one will release it unto you torturing you whilst shouting for other demons to join in your forthcoming death. If you survive long enough to see the professor in his or her office, he or she will lead you into a hallway of which the end seems non-existent. He or she will soon speak of the lesson earlier and how you felt about it. You must reply that you are not a student. Any other answer will leave you breathless, and the students possessed will take your body into hell, where you will spend an infinity of eternities. The professor will nod if you answered correctly, and will leave you, bidding you good luck. As you walk alone, the air will get thick, and your chest will strive to expand, but you must keep moving. They are watching your every move, waiting to strike. Your blood will move slowly, your heart will slow its cadence. The ever-increasing lack of air is obvious, and you may feel your brain shutting down. A door appears. You should be crawling now, sweat falling off your brow like bullets. The door swings open as you slowly inch upon it. Do not stop. Keep moving forward. Even with the strong being awaiting your arrival, the beasts behind you do not stop their pursuit. They cannot curb their hunger for your flesh. One finger is all that is needed over the threshold to this new, oxygen-rich room. The being that awaits you will snatch you up and slam the door on the creatures so near. This entity is massive and coated in red and black fur. He is grinning with yellow-white teeth, but seems sympathetic to your harsh journey. He beckons you to pet him, which you should, if you choose. His fur is as soft as silk, and his slow breathing is a comfort to you. You look upon his face and see bright blue eyes and a small, bony horn atop his head that gleams in the light of this haven. This creature is the holder of respiration and will gladly give up his object, though he seems to be oblivious to his fated duty. He just enjoys your touch for he has not felt this content for what seems like an eternity. This happiness will be short-lived, 
for you are the seeker and must continue in your quest. Tell the beast. I need your object, Holder. The beast will be confused for a quick moment, but soon nod like an excited puppy. The nodding will turn violent, and his fur will shed quickly, revealing rotting skin and muscle tissue. Those blue eyes begin to burn red and shade to black like coal. The beast is now enraged, and the air in this room begins to thicken. You will surely die first, for his lungs have more air capacity. Through rotting tissue, you should notice a glimmer in his stomach. This is what you must acquire before this hell beast devours your soul. How you acquire it is your choice. If you grab the object, you will end up in the professor's classroom, where you sat before, with a glittering orb in your hand. If the beast takes your life, hope that you go straight to hell, an eternity with him is far worse. This glittering orb is Object 396 of 538. It holds the souls of seekers failed. Will yours join the collection?